good year to be a K-drama fan, but not all the time. Who would have thought that in the same year that we got such hit K-dramas as The Good Bad Mother, Celebrity, and Crash Course in Romance, we would also get some of the worst shows ever created. All of the dramas we are going to talk about here received very low ratings and largely disappointed fans, whether it was due to poor writing, miscasting choices, or bad air time. Here are 5 of the year's biggest K-flops. 5. Island. Park Kwong Yun's Island was probably the most anticipated K-drama of the year, only to end up as a huge disappointment after the premiere. The show's main characters are portrayed by popular actors Lee Dahi, Kim Nam Gil, and Cha Eun Woo, but that didn't help. Although the writing was okay, viewers were not impressed with the ridiculous amount of CG used in the drama and found the directing to be quite poor, which led to extremely low ratings. 4. The Heavenly Idol. Kim Min Kyu became a popular actor after his performance in Business Proposal, so fans were waiting for him to land bigger roles in the future, which he did in The Heavenly Idol. However, the fantasy romance drama ended up being a big disappointment. The first episode's rating was a little over 3%, but the second episode ended up receiving only 1.8%. 3. Strangers Again. The drama tells the story of a divorced couple trying to rekindle the spark that once existed between them. Strangers Again brought Kong Sara back to the small screen and paired her with Jang Sung Jo. Their on-screen couple was amazing and they showed real chemistry and gave their best performances, but it wasn't enough to make the K-drama a success. The main reason for the show's failure was the predictable and unoriginal plot that left nothing to the imagination. All episodes received a consistent rating of 1%. 2. Bo Ra, Deborah. A typical light-hearted romance drama was supposed to be this great comeback for the show's star Yu and Na after her three-year acting hiatus, and it seems like nobody expected that the show would end up as a huge flop. The story of the drama revolves around a young girl's transformation, and frankly there wasn't anything terrible about the acting or directing of the show. However, it received a rating of 0.6%. 1. Oh, Young Sime. The story of the drama revolves around two childhood friends who reunite after 20 years and become a couple. The series, which stars two popular actors, Dong Hae and Song Ha Yoon, ended up with a rating of only 0.3%, which dropped even lower towards the end of the series. This is the worst rating in the history of South Korean television. The most common point of criticism was that the show felt so old as if it had been filmed 10 years ago. There you have it, 5 Worst K-Dramas of 2023. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more K-Drama insights, recommendations, and exciting content. Thank you for joining me today, and until next time, keep enjoying those heart-pounding stories.